Wings to Fly has a long tradition of seeing where we can learn from other sports and this year our attention turns to the crossover between goalkeepers and wicket keepers. Now Simon Smith has been the Newcastle United goalkeeping coach for many years. Paul Farbrace was himself both a goalkeeper and a wicket keeper in his younger days. So it's hardly surprising that they got on like a house on fire. So we asked them to run a session for us at the Emirates Riverside in Chesley Street with some local young keepers. Now to liven things up just that little bit more, Simon brought along the England under 19 goalkeeper Paul Woolston and Farby brought along Johnny Bairstow. That whole session could have been run for any fielding position because the principles of movement, the principles of balance are exactly the same. Good, catch, watch the ball. I worked for the FA. Paul made an inquiry, he'd like to see some goalkeeping coaching. He came to watch, in fact he didn't just watch, he actually joined in and that's how it started. So what we're going to do, we're going to work inside the markers and all we're going to do, we're going to get in our starting position we're just going to throw the ball across while side skipping. When they get to the bottom one, take the ball and just jog back up. So you're going to cross over at the top. Good, like it. Catch nice and early. This bit doesn't move, yeah? We're not jumping up and down like that. We're staying nice and low. Present your hands to the ball, just like Johnny does with his wicket keeping, Paul does with his goalkeeping. We've got to try and put on a show a little bit really, it's, uh, it's quite good fun and uh, I'm sure that the kids hopefully today will have a great afternoon. I really do believe that there is a crossover and a transfer, although I'm slightly out of my comfort zone, I'm quite confident that what I'm trying to pass on to them and other people is, does actually work. We're going to do exactly the same, just with the cricket ball, so just that little throw over, keep your hands forward, again, I'm working hard from here down. But from here up, I just stay in that nice position. So I work everything on the balls of my feet. So I'm in that nice balanced catching position. Good. Love that, girls. Excellent Good work. Excellent work. The more I've coached, the more I've realised that there are so many links between uh, certainly wicket keeping and goalkeeping. But I think we've also found that fielders generally, the shape, the body movement, they're exactly the same. And there are so many crossovers, I think, in, in a lot of sports. In this situation, there's a huge amount. And I think the more we, we've worked together, Simon and I, the more we've realised, actually, there's a lot more than we, uh, we perhaps thought there were at the beginning. So I want a nice underarm throw for a catch. Then move your feet, off he goes, comes in, throw. Let's have a go. Good girl, excellent. That's good. If you've got here a mixed group, so you've got 11-year-old to Johnny Bear saying he's number one, we've got two girls, We've got one of your talented goalkeepers. These drills we're doing, would we do these from 11 year olds through to international cricket? Yes. Would you do them with your goalkeepers all the way through? Yes. So the principles of the drill don't change. The service changes. I'll be kicking it harder. So you'll be volleying it? Yeah. And that'd be the only difference? It'd be the only difference. So that this bit of it doesn't change. They just do it at higher speed, like he's doing now. Excellent. Very good. He's been kind to you there that he's not volleyed a few. Not yet. That's later. Not yet. Now it might be that with some of those youngsters there, you might do that same session two or three times. With someone like a Johnny Bairstow, you expect him to get it quite quickly, and he moves on with that drill quite quickly. Exactly the same idea. This time all you're going to do is just start, you're just going to touch there, come back up, set, make your catch. Instead of trying to change them, I'm trying to say, actually you're doing this anyway. You just maybe could be more efficient at doing it. Yeah, good, little movement, well done, good. Put your football down and pick a cricket ball up. Smaller ball, narrow your hands up, but get in the same body position. What's the other key bit to catching that? You've got to watch the ball into your hands. We've taken drills from one another. I've certainly used a lot of his goalkeeping drills. Certainly the footwork drills, posture, the balance. I've used that with wicket keepers. And we've used that with fielders. This time, all Paul's going to do is going to move his feet backwards, back in and set forwards. The catch is the thing to dismiss somebody, so the, the pressure and the getting it right is, is key. I've tried in some ways to transfer that into goalkeeping, so I like my goalkeepers to catch the ball. You've got to trust your hands, but if your hands are in the right position and you're watching the ball and your head steady, you won't drop it. Well, that was what the session was about, about being in the right starting position with your hands in the right place, your head in the right place, your eyes firmly fixed on the ball, the bottom half of you working hard to get to where you need to go, and the top half being ready to to catch the ball. So I come in, I set, if it goes there, I move my feet again, I adjust. That is being lazy, because what have I got behind the ball? Just my hands. It's like running up to the stumps, isn't it? I need to stop myself to make my catch. The throw isn't right into my hands, I have to move again. 
That's where the crossover comes. Don't be lazy. Let's have another go. How easy is that? This time, all you're going to do, move your feet round it, come back in, a set, a catch. The, the one thing working with Simon is that when you see someone as passionate about coaching and about the sport as he is, you're drawn to that. And I think that's something that, you know, really appeals to me. His passion is enthusiasm for the sport. Now, the key to going backwards is setting forward. Yeah, so as I run back, I don't rock back like that. Yeah, I go back and as he throws it or strikes it, bang, I set forward. So I'm still in my shape. I've yet to have any wicket keepers that have come away and said, I've, I've not really got something good from that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful, great demo. Off you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we got a clean sheet that time. As you can see, we've had a cricket ball, we've had a football, it doesn't matter. The body shape and the catching are just the same. Any sportsman, they do it their way, but the fundamental basics of that particular goalkeeper, wicketkeeper, batsman, bowler, whatever it might be, the basics are exactly the same. So the basics are the same, but then it, the rest of it is how you shape and how you move yourself. So we're not trying to make everybody do exactly the same. We're saying with the skills that you've got, we can help you to get better, but there are some basics that are very much evident between wicketkeeping and goalkeeping. After South Africa, I went up to Newcastle and, and did a goalkeeping session. And we just had a bit of fun, to be honest with you. It was great to go up and spend some time with people in a completely different contrasting sport, yet similarities are, are still there. Just try different things out. If 1% of them come off, then it's 1% better than, than you potentially were previously to doing it. Starting position there. Look how I'm standing. Feet shoulder width apart, bend your knees, sit your bottom down, bend your hips. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to step across and forward. That's where my power comes from. If I put my foot that way, have you got any power in your thigh? No, it's just a wobbly leg. If I turn it that way, point your toe. Now put your foot over it. Now I've got a powerful diving shape. Both in goalkeeping and cricket, I see people basically just throw, throw themselves. The more athletic you are as a person, normally the further you can throw yourself. So I thought, well, I need to be able to teach people to move and step and use the power that they've got in their leg. Then if they've got the ability to throw themselves, gosh, they're going to cover a, you know, a long way. With wicket keeping, it's really trying to get them to cover as much of the ground behind them as possible. Which obviously, don't get me wrong, there are limits, but that was the, the key to it, of being able to move your feet and then step, use your power, use your agility to make a save. The great thing about that session was we had the first five or ten minutes planned in our minds, but we wanted to see how it went. And, and once you're off and running, that's the confidence and I suppose a bit of experience that you get as a coach. But try it. The, the kids, the players, whether it's Johnny Bairstow, Joss Butler, Shay Given, Steve Harper, or those 11 year old boys and girls, they will dictate your session for you. You know, they say to me now, hang on a sec, you, I've just done 40 weeks with the same two goalies, so how do you keep that, you know, interesting? Letting people have as many goals as possible. And so hopefully, by everybody being active and that re the repetition of the skill and all the, the movement, that, that's where it starts and they stick with it. Let them drive your session. Let them be the ones who really push the session on. They determine how successful that session is. And I think it's something that I've learned as I've coached. It's not about me as a coach, it's about them as the player. And that doesn't matter whether that's an 11-year-old or whether that's Johnny Bairstow. Good. Love that. Good lad. I like doing it with the younger ones because it'll be one of them who takes what we've been doing today on. So yeah, I like that, what he's doing there. And I've got that and I can now dive. And then hopefully somebody in 10 years time will come through and say, oh yeah, I, you know, I once went, we did a thing with Johnny Bairstow. They won't remember me or Paul, but it'll be, oh, we did a wicket keeper with Johnny Bairstow and they've gone on and, and done it. So that's probably now because of the age I'm, that's what's happened with goalkeeping. And it's nice because you see what you've done with them as young goalkeepers coming through to the, to the fore, you know. I haven't played test match cricket, but I know the principles that work for him to be able to do it. He's younger, faster, fitter, got better hand-eye coordination than I have. Yeah, but the principles don't change. The buzz and excitement you get as a coach when you go with your instincts and you have a bit of fun, it's amazing where that ends up. You can be as inventive as you want to be. So there is no barrier when it comes to coaching. The only barrier is how far you're prepared to let yourself go. We very often say to players, when you're practicing, go with it, try it, see what you can do. Doesn't matter if you get it wrong in practice. Doesn't matter if you get it wrong in training. Be as instinctive as you can. 
we've got to be exactly the same as coaches. Because the way the game's moving forward now, if we try and stick to our tried and tested methods, and we try and stick to teaching technique in, in a set way, we will lose people. Whether, and that's again, kids or senior players. So the game is moving so fast. All of us coaches, whatever level we're working at, we've got to be ready for them changes. And we've got to find a way to make sure that the players are connecting to those changes as quickly as possible. And the only way we can do that is have a bit of fun and let ourselves go as coaches as well. Well, watching that session, you really do get the passion and enthusiasm that Simon and Farby have as coaches. What they're teaching really is the basics, shape, body movement, and that old chestnut, watch the ball. Do the basics well, and that will help players perform.